everybody, this is Rand, and Dave's over there laughing at me. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Oh, whatever. I want to give you a little tutorial on how to um, how to uh, do handbrake. It's going to look a little different. I already did it, but if you stick your CD in, it'll find the source. But if it doesn't, you click on source, you point to the CD, find the video TS, and open that. I'm not going to do it because it takes a long time. It takes about two or three minutes. So I've already chosen my source, which is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And right here, I choose the destination, and I would browse, click where I want it to go, and it's a little, you know different on um, different on Windows. I just save it to my movies folder, or you can save it to your desktop, and um, give it a name for what what the movie name is, and you click save. But I'm going to cancel because I already have that. So I'm saving my movies to my movie folder, and over here you choose a preset. And if this doesn't show you, click on the toggle presets. It opens and closes. And uh, if you're doing it for the iPad, you select the iPad, and it goes through all these complicated settings, and it saves it for you. Now, if you're doing um, a movie, that's all you have to do. Then you just push start. But if you're doing uh, like a DVD of TV shows, then there's a whole bunch of different uh, files. So you would go over here to the title, and you would go through and look for any titles that are long. You see these are little short ones? Those are those short little movies that come with the DVD, so I would find all the ones that are like 30 minutes long or 49 minutes long and add them one at a time. You would click the title, you'd give it a name, it'd be TV Show Episode 1 and click Add to Cube. And go to the next one, give a name, TV Show Episode 2, Add to Cube. And on and on and on. And then when you're all done, if you want to check, you click Show the Cube and it would show the Cube. Of course, I don't have a Cube because I just have one. Once you have everything ready to go, you click Start. And it takes, um, from mine, it takes probably a good 45 minutes to get going. And it's, see, it's queuing and it's doing this little thing right there. And now it's encoding and it's going to take a long time. Now, once you save the movie, then you, uh, once the movie's done, then you just need to get into your iTunes. On a Mac, all you do is drag it onto iTunes. But I'm not sure how that works on Windows. So you can always just open iTunes and choose File, Add to Library. And you would navigate to that folder and you would click it. So it was called Green Swirls and you would add it. Now, any time you add a movie file to iTunes, it's going to assume that it's a movie and it's going to put it right here in movies. But if you do a TV show and it's not, it's not what it is, then you will probably want to show up in a TV show. So, for instance, we have here Big Love because I'm kind of addicted to it. And uh, one get what what I want to do is change it to be a TV show instead of a movie. So where is it? I want to give the get information. Here we go. Get information. Uh, maybe it's called get properties on Windows. Basically, you want to click it, find it, so you can get this window here. And here it would have the summary. Yeah, whatever that means. Info. And that's where you put in the name of it, if you want, and the video. And you put the show and the season number and the episode number so that iTunes knows. And you go over here to the options and you change it from movie, which it comes by default, to TV show. And you can go through next, next, next if, if you have a whole bunch. Or you just click on OK. And then it's going to move from the movies and now it's in TV shows. And there it is, Big Love Season 4. I borrowed these from the internet. So that's how you do it. That's how you put things in. And, um, you know, Breaking Bad is a really good TV show if you haven't seen it. It's very naughty. Um, so, all right. But you know what I think? You know what I really think? People should just pay the three bucks and rent the movie. Gosh darn it. I mean, how much is your time worth? That's just my opinion. Okay, bye.